Hello, and welcome once again to Let's Play Global Defense Force. In today's final episode, we will take down the Mothership. We'll be playing as the Pale Wing, of course. The infantry man will be his own shot at a Mothership in Monster Attack. That's for another day, though. Very solemn, let me choose my weapons. Going with reliable weapons we have seen before rather than scary new ones. No new weapons today. As we face our judgment day. Feel a speech coming on. <laughs> Even though large tracts of Japan and many old and famous states have fallen or may fall into the grip of the Gigantors and all the odious apparatus of the invaders, we shall not flag or fail. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight them in London. We shall fight under the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall fight them on the beaches. We shall fight them on the landing ground. We shall fight them in the fields and in the streets. We shall destroy the hills. And we shall never surrender. EDF. EDF. GDF, no way, GDF, 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 yeah, let's kill them all. Enough of that twaddle, we've got a giant space dish to dismantle. Let's start with these dangerous prongs. The mothership has a number of dangerous prongs that fire explodey things that explode you up one hit kill at our health level. Shooting them enough makes them fall off. This dismantling of the mothership is our main way to stop it from blowing us up. It will forever spawn saucers. Lots of saucers. Kill saucers, more come. It'll be important later. Or right now if I was being, you know, clever about this. But I'm not being clever about this. I'm being cinematic. Boss strategy. The mothership is really, really high up. It's very far away. Bring a long-range weapon. I tried my hardest to get myself and my little cotton socks up into its little spawning core area, so I could fire off my rapier at it, even from a building, and with the help of some handy sources, I didn't quite make it. A long-range weapon, definitely useful. When the mothership opens up its hatch to drop saucers on you, this is your opportunity to shoot it up. This is your only way to damage the mothership directly. Its weapons are actually counted as separate targets. Apart from the hundreds and hundreds of saucers and the massive exploding prongs, the mothership also spins its terrible... this thing circle. Well, I've just blown it up anyway and fires lasers at you. Not terribly threatening. Won't often hit you. When it does, it will drain your health. Slowly. Your health will be draining slowly throughout this entire level. So with any amount of walking, jumping, rolling or flying about to save you from all these sources. You are going to take damage. There's only the one prong left. The mothership is almost defenseless. It has no defense except for all the saucers. We have successfully dismantled it. Now to go in for the kill. As we can only damage the invader mothership when it wants us to, balancing your weapon energy as the pale wing and your ammo as the infantry man is important. And oh my god, lots of lasers! Yes, once you take out all the mothership's other weapons, it starts shooting 
hundreds and hundreds of lasers at you from these little pylons. As far as I'm aware, you cannot destroy the pylon. I'm not actually sure they ever hit me, but it's definitely something to look at, isn't it? Pretty. Where the nefarious source of menacing death must be destroyed. Let us empty our lasers into it. For the good of the world. It doesn't look like that's enough lasers. The mother ship is closing up. We shall go and kill some sources until it decides to pop some more out. While we're waiting, let's talk about weapons. Specifically the LSR 36. Highly accurate laser sniper. I used it before to enhance the club. It's fairly powerful. It's got quite good economy. It doesn't drain your weapon energy as much as it could do. Which is nice. It's also fairly effective against slow moving sources, making it perfect for this climactic final level. Also brought along the Rapier Thrust, as ever, probably not the best choice. It is a good backup weapon against enemies on the ground, not so much against flying sources. And in Zuno, a Thunderbow would have been a more wise choice, as I'd be able to take out enemies from a distance while I'm waiting for my energy to recharge. The source is opening up again, let's have at it! Unfortunately, I'd rather stupidly run out of energy. Wait for it to recharge. Health looking a bit low. Maybe I should get a tub or something. The mother ship is smoking. Just a little more laser application. The world could be saved. Let's go! Pew pew pew! And we've done it. We have taken out the mothership. Their invasion is over! Suck it invaders! Suck it down! Well that's it everybody. That was a Let's Play Global Defense Force. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd like to thank everybody who's posted in the thread, all five of you, and my four YouTube subscribers. You're good people. Not sure what to do now. There's definitely no more of this game to show off. That's it. No more. Nuh uh. Oh wait, yes there is, sorry.